Hey guys, today we're going to be looking at to replace um, the MacBook Pro um, early 2015 screen. This is the A1502 model. Alright, so the first thing you want to do, you want to flip it over. And you want to take out all the screws on the back. All right, and once you get the screws off, you just want to pop it. You can start from the top here. It's a little bit of a latch. You can put your fingers underneath. Um, just pull a little bit up, and you'll hear the pop. I think it's a little pop. You take out the little battery here. So the connector's right here. goes on the side. You can just kind of use your fingertip on the, the top left corner. It makes it much easier and just comes up. Then you can bend it up. All right, so once you get that done, you can unhook the connection here, and this is kind of the LCD connection. And there's a little latch you can see here. You can use your fingernail and get under it. Once you get under it, you can see the little latch comes up. And once it comes up, then you can just pull it back pretty gently. Of course, be very careful. It's very delicate here. All right, just like that. And that comes up. And then of course, um, there's another connection over here. These are the Wi-Fi antenna cables. They attach to the screen as well. So there's three of them. Uh, you want to make sure you pull them each up. Um, of course, be very careful. Okay, then there's one more connection that goes over here. You can see right here, now you're next to the fan. And this is a little bit, um, so there's a little bit of glue there. Just pull up, you can do it very gently. Just follow it. It's pretty easy to take off there. So now you want to pull this. Once you get the cable up a little bit off the fan, then you just want to pull this one down just a little bit. It should come right out just like that. Okay. Once you do that, um, you'll see these little black um, coverings that go over the three screws of the LCD. There's two on each. There's one each side, so there's two of them. Okay, so you need to use a, a special screwdriver here. It's um, it's one of those star screwdrivers again that they use. Okay, and then one more. Let's do this one. Okay, so once you get that out, um, then you can see there are two to the side here. There's one on each side. Let's show you. There's two little holders. They have screws. It's right here. You can see it. And then there's one right over here. See that black screw that holds the little silver piece in? So you want to remove that now. Once you take it off the screw, you see this little silver piece. Silver piece comes out. And you do the same exact thing on this side. Okay, so once we got all the screws removed and the plastic pieces up, um, now you're ready to remove the screen. And you can just you can pop it here. So there's a few ways you can do it. You can actually bend it here very gently. And you can kind of feel the, the silver piece get a little bit loose here. You just go very gently and it bends back if you line it up correctly down there. Um, you can bend it out and just push it up and it comes out just like that. It's nice and easy. If you feel any weird force or if you can't get a good feel for it, um, you can actually just bend over the, um, the silver little um, connections at the bottom there. Um, but this is, it seems to be the easiest way to do it so you don't have to really lift anything or push or pull anything. Okay, so here's our new screen. Here's the old screen. We can just put the old screen away right now flat and then we can put this actually right on top. We're just going to reverse what we just did. So you can kind of put that flat on there. Um, I do have the screen, have a little protector over it. I don't like to just put this right on the screen itself. So once you line it up, um, you can just kind of bend it in just like this. You can kind of feel it, um, get a good feel for that. You kind of want it to be on exactly where the holes are. Like they're just lined up where the holes are. And once you get that lined up, um, you can hold that piece and you can just bend it down. 
And once it bends down, it'll fit perfectly. Um, if you struggle a little bit, you can also just put them down like this. You can just use your fingers and put them down. Make sure the holes line up perfectly. Um, you can also, if you leave it up like that, you can actually screw maybe one hole in and then um, on each side and then just push it down like that so it stays in a little bit better. But um, I like this way. This way it kind of goes. Uh, you just get a good feel for it, so it's not too bad. All right, so once you get that down, um, the next step, Okay, so once you get this back down to the way it is, um, we can, again, we're just going to go back in reverse. So we're gonna all right, and once that's all done, um, then you can plug back the battery back in. Just like that, clips down. And now you can put the top cover, you can put that back on too. So once you get all the screws in, flip it open. Open it up. Turn on. You see the Apple logo? Great sign. And that's how you do the screen of the um, and that's how you do the screen of the A1502, the early 2015 MacBook. Okay, guys. So thanks for watching. Um, please, if you have a question, just comment below. Um, don't forget to like and subscribe. Uh, we do have a lot more videos coming. We like doing a bunch of iMacs. Um, we're going to show you some more, um, some board, actual board fixes in the future. So stay tuned for that. Um, we like to normal repairs. We also want to talk a little bit about more software and kind of some news that's going on. So stay tuned for that as well. Um, yep, and you guys all have a good one. See you. Thanks for watching.